welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Today, I wanted to do something that you can use for a family meal, something that you can make for tons of people, but that is at the same time really, really yummy and easy to do. So today we're going to do some chicken thighs that I'm going to marinate in some Dijon mustard and also with a bit of herbs. And also because it's, uh, it's autumn here, we're going to use some pumpkin and also leek which is a great combination and that's what's going to serve a side dish for our chicken thighs as always if you want to see the full recipe then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you'll find lots more recipes also remember that if you like this video you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already i'm now going to make these chicken thighs with herbs and also pumpkin so if you want to see how it's done then keep on watching this video so for our side dish, I have here the leeks and I've showed you before how to prepare leeks so that you don't have any earth in them. So you basically just chop off the dark uh, part of the leek and then you're left with the clear part. That part you cut in half and then you wash it under water and you start to uh, fumble with the leaves so that the water can go into them and clean them out. And now we're just going to chop it really finely for our side dish. With the pumpkin, what I'm going to do is do some slices not everyone likes to eat the skin, but that doesn't matter because you can always take it out. I just want to show you a different way of presenting a pumpkin. This we're going to mix with some bay leaves and also olive oil, salt and pepper and it's going to go into a preheated oven at 200 degrees for about 40 minutes or until you can see that the pumpkin is nice and soft. You also want to check every 20 minutes and give it a stir just to make sure that everything is covered in olive oil. and also some Dijon mustard, which is really strong, but goes excellent with chicken and also with the herbs. Over here, I have some leaves of fresh rosemary, also some thyme and sage, but if you can't get fresh, of course, you can use dried as well. And I'm going to chop them a bit because you don't want to find really large chunks of herbs while you're eating the chicken. And then we're going to marinate it with salt and pepper as well, just for about 30 minutes is enough. pepper to the chicken you want to add it before adding the marinade so that you can see how much salt you're actually adding to each piece and then it's easier to calculate the amount that you want on there in our mix they're going to get cooked first in the pan because we want them to go really really nice and golden and then they're going to finish in the oven of course you can also pop this straight in the oven but it will not get the same amount of golden on top that you will see on mine
This is now going to go into a preheated oven at 200 degrees, which is the same temperature at which we have the vegetables already. And they're going to be there for about 30 minutes or until you can see that they uh, release clear juices. And also if you have a meat thermometer, you can test that it's 73 degrees in the center of the meat and that it's safe to eat. recipe I really hope you liked it if you did like it don't forget to put thumbs up to this video it makes me really really happy please if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the blog don't forget to send me a picture or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook also if there's anything savory or sweet that you would like me to teach you how to make you can leave a comment below I'm posting recipes every Thursday and Sunday so if you don't want to miss any of them then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel it's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.